Hi, this is Kerry, and we're going to look at off-axis guiders, how they work, and why you may want to use one. Um, so what I have here is our Astrodon Monster Moog off-axis guider. This is actually a very robust guider with uh, three-inch main ports. Um, all right, so the way these things work, uh, you'll see that this square thing here, that's the guider body, and then we've got some adapters that connect to our camera. <coughs> Now this is a ZWO color camera. This could be a monochrome camera and then you would have a filter wheel inserted in here instead of this adapter. Um, and then what goes up here in this focuser is a guide camera. Like that, these little lipstick guide cameras are pretty handy for that. Now the way this works is this attaches to your telescope. There's varieties of adapters that will, excuse me, yep, just like that. Um, Varieties of adapters that will connect various telescopes and you can use precise parts to have a custom adapter made and I've got other videos on how to do that. Um, so anyway, that connects to your telescope and then um, when we look through here, the, teles the light from the telescope is coming through the off-axis guider body and you can see it's got a, a clear path to the detector down there. And then sitting right up here is a little prism that it's going to pick off some of the starlight in the off-axis area, hence the name off-axis guider. <clears throat> and it's going to send that starlight up to the, to the guide camera. So now, um, while we're tracking the sky and we've got our main camera taking long exposures, we're going to take pictures with this camera fairly quickly, one to three seconds. Um, and then we're going to read that out, and the guiding software is going to do its thing and make the corrections and keep your scope on track. Now, um, the advantages of off-axis guiding is that you're guiding at the focal length of the telescope. That's one. Um, so you've got good guiding resolution. Um, <clears throat> you're also guiding the same optical system that's exposing your main camera. Um, so you don't have any differential flexure and you don't introduce guiding errors or differential errors. Um, if the main primary mirror, like in a schmidt cassegrain flops, then this also sees that movement and corrects for it. Whereas if it were a piggyback guide scope, it's not going to see that, that differential motion and it can't correct for it. So that's why you might use um, an off-axis guider.